versus Albion Rovers. Alloa seem to be nursing a New Year hangover on Tuesday. Despite the loss taken an early lead, Queen's Park deservedly turned the scoreline in their favour either side of half-time. Before attacking changes saw Alloa pressure create an opening and rescue a late point. The same team that started Tuesday plays today. Kevin Collar returns to the bench with Dylan Monaghan dropping out. Albion Rovers earlier in the season impressed with some fine attacking football, especially in the 5-2 win here in the Endodrome, before being turned over 2-0 by Alawa at Clifton Hill in the last meeting. The Wee Rovers have struggled defensively, but have Alan Troughton firing on all cylinders. He's looking for his 25th Albion Rovers goal in just his 25th game this season. Albion Rovers in red to get us underway here at the Endodrome. Up, charging down the right hand side, ball play through, just too far ahead of Renton. Potts collects. Fleming. Flanagan. Crossing out wide. Left hand side, ready to take on his man. Cuts in. Goes for goal himself. Just wide of the six yard box. Fleming, long diagonal crossfield ball, aim for crossing, he's got light body, cuts back on his left, step over, peg shields, light body does make the challenge, cleared, well cut out by Fleming, chip over the top, Renton takes it down on the chest, gets a shot away, fingertip saved by Potts. And Renton almost getting Alwa off the mark. Ben Rovers coming over the halfway line. Into Gary Fisher. Vittoria to Fisher. Fisher goes himself. First foray on goal. Wide of the mark. Crossing. Again, taking on light body, gets inside him. Ball in, cut by Holmes. Sends it to Davidson. Trout knocking it to Victoria. Cuts inside, Taggart and Graham and puts it away past Barry. 1-0 Albion Rovers. Quick footwork. Opening that chance in the box. Both centre-backs done by Vittoria. Robertson. Goes back the way. Fleming. Picks out Ross Stewart, unmarked on the penalty spot, he slots home! It's his third goal in three Alwa games! Alwa 1, Albion Rovers 1. No Alwa strikers done that in at least the past 25 years. Fantastic start to his Alwa career. The ball in here, Albion Rovers defence going to sleep, light body in the back plane, all three Alba players on. And it's a good finish from Ross Stewart. Fleming again, the cross field ball to Gross. Again he takes on light body, gets to that byline easily. Cross is over hit though. All the way to Robertson. Sends the ball in, Stewart knocks it. That's way to the six yard box. Fleming. Again, long ball forward. Picks out Stewart. Stewart tries to chip. Not far over. Everybody inside. 
Reed and Perry's pulled up. It's a sore one. No one near him. He's got to vacate the pitch. It's a bad injury. Robertson. Fleming. Hard deep ball forward. Stewart running on to it. He's well marked by Holmes in this line, but he's shrugged off the challenge. Flanagan back the way. A left footed crossfield ball. Headed away. Hetherington picks it up. On to Renton. Crossing. Again, taking on light buddy and Fisher! Goes for goal. Ball saves well. Front. Taking the Stewart. Roberts lobs it up. Renton chests it down. Back to Stewart, ball through, oh, crossings on side, strong running to shrug off the Albion defender, can he beat the keeper, he does, and he taps in, Alba 2, Albion Rovers 1. Fantastic running from the on-loan Celtic defender, a well-deserved goal. And Alba take the lead before half-time. Through ball, Tiger doesn't deal with that. Vittoria! Parry saves well with his leg. Albion Rovers should really be level. Trouton. Davidson. He's going to call himself wide. Albion Rovers free kick. A couple yards outside the 18 yard box. All across goal! Trouton in the back post can't direct it. And beating everyone. Surely the man you'd expect to finish from there. Robertson. Throw it to Flanagan. Picks out Heatherington, turns well. Cross ball. Albion Rovers deal with it. Alwa corner. Flanagan's delivery, back post, Ross Stewart, heads it wide. Another free kick, Davidson sends in. Oh, we'll get it clear on the edge of the box, Fisher hits, Trout takes, lays off shield. He slots wide to the mark. Holmes. Oh, ball, Tiger, knocks it away. Heatherington flicks it on to Fisher. <laughs> Vittoria going himself! Curls one over the bar. Let's go kick. Albion's right hand side. Holmes heads it on. It's picked out by Crane. Plays the long ball over the top. Crossing, heads on. Runs on to it. Rens in the middle for a cutback, but it goes back to Ross Stewart. Well blocked. Still not clear though. Robertson takes it down and Flanagan strikes. Another Alla corner. Flanagan. Swings in the corner. Aiming front post. Andy Graham doesn't get it headed on. Comes to the back. Tagger. Driving ball. Just way to go. Albin coming forward. Fisher, play through to McLaughlin, he's in the middle of the two defenders, he's pushed Graham into parry, and he pushes Graham in the face. No action from the ref. Call it to Robertson. Inside is Ian Flanagan. Calm Crane. Adam Martin. Ken Flanagan. Colley. No foul on him. Malcolm Robertson. Ball across goal! And Ross Stewart scuffs at it. 
What a chance to get another goal. Free kick. Davidson was oh, good put back. Parry saves well. Flanagan free kick. Aimed in. Ports has flapped at the ball. Put it in his own net. Flanagan scores. But really, it's a, a nightmare for the Albion goalkeeper. Elsewise, he's had a good game. He has a couple of good saves. But work to do there. And the 3 1 scoreline will kill it for Alawa. And that's how it ended. An excellent game here at the end of the drill. Alawa coming out 3 1 winners. Elsewhere, Adrian Reigns do 0 0 with East Fife. Air United were beaten 2 1 by 10 man Arbroath. Queen's Park picked up another 2 0 draw against Strindler. And Wraith Rovers capitalised on Air's loss with a 2 1 win at 4 4, which takes them top of the league. Now means the top four are cut adrift. Four points between Strindler and Arbroath. Alawa just one point ahead of the Red Lighties. Next week, Alwa are in action in Methyl. East Fife hosts the Wasps. Next time we'll have action is from Dundee United in the Scottish Cup. Check out the post-match from Albion Rovers and join us again on Wasps TV.